back everybody. Well today we're out here in the garage. I took a vacation day from work and just hanging out, just kind of getting a, a rest day so to speak and uh, just wanted to include you in it. I thought we'd make a little short video on some of my favorite True Temper tools. Alright, so let's talk about my True Temper tools, why they're my favorite, why I like True Temper. Uh, number one, of course, is because my dad worked there. My late father worked there for 28 years from the early 60s, like 1961, until about 1989 or something like that, he worked there. Uh, for those of you who aren't familiar with True Temper, I mean, other than you, what you see hanging in Lowe's or whatever, garden tools, uh, the company that he worked at, or the plant that he worked at for all those years, the first 14 years they made fishing equipment, fishing rod and reels and all that and a lot of people uh, don't realize that True Temper was once in the fishing business and somewhere along the line in the mid 70s that particular plant they quit with all the fishing stuff and went totally with just uh, garden tools you know rakes, hoes, hammers, all that kind of stuff and I got to go in there a couple of times with that my older brother he worked there for a while too back in the uh, early 80s and, and had a good job there. So, True Temper was a, a great company at one time and their tools were the very best. And I want to say were because uh, if you go in like Lowe's or Home Depot, places like that, their, their tools aren't the quality that they once were. And, so anyway, we're not going to get into that. The older tools though I love and that's what I that's what I prefer, and if I'm going to start hunting for a true temper tool or something in particular, like this old brush axe, bush hook, whatever you want to call it, you know, I'll look online, uh, look in Craigslist, I'll look on eBay, places like that, try to find the best thing for the best price, but I always get the older stuff. And in particular, like in the case of this old brush hook or bush axe, whatever you want to call it, this one has True Temper Kelly Works right on it. And the Kelly Works stuff, in my opinion, is the best. If you can get True Temper Kelly, that's the good stuff, man. Good steel. Good steel. That's what you're paying for. Good quality steel. All right, so this is my old bush hook, brush axe, whatever you want to call it. I picked this thing up. It's pretty sharp. I've used it a few times. And listen, it's effective. You swing that, it cuts something. Here's another one of my favorites. Now, this was my father's. He, I can remember us having this around the house when I was a little kid, okay? And I know it's just an old swing blade. And you may say, well, what's the big deal? You pick these up anywhere. But this was a good one. In fact, I didn't realize it till I got to restoring this thing that in the handle right here, it's got True Temper Kelly Works stamped into the handle. And I have yet to see another swing blade with True Temper Kelly Works wrote on it. And if you look also how they handle on these older ones, how they they spent a lot more effort on making this handle fit the the metal frame. And so I restored this thing and, and sharpened it up, and I mean, she's razor sharp, and it'll cut. So I love this old swing blade. All right, here's some of my True Temper hammers. I've got a few other ones, but these are just the ones I pulled out to look at. All right, so this is a Kelly Perfect framing hammer, and this may be the original handle one because it's, it's old and it's loose in there. Uh, this is a, a True Temper A16, and this here's an FG16, and this has got the original handle still on it. It's got the True Temper solid fiberglass handle, all that in there. That's great. Now, now my dad was bad to, to get hammer heads out of the reject bin because if the stamp where the name was stamped in it, if something like that wasn't right or didn't pass inspection, then they rejected them just because of the name. And so back then he could he could get those and put his own handle in them. So some of my tools don't have the, a good clear stamp. All right, here's my little drill hammer, and that's a true temper. Stamp right there in the top, two pounds. This is a rocket hammer, and that's an A224 rocket hammer, ball peen. All right, now here's the a cool old rocket hammer here, man. It's got the handle with the rocket in it and TT. Boy, isn't that beautiful? I mean, I know they're dirty. They've been used. True Temper Rocket. Love those hammers. Good stuff, man. Good steel. Really good steel. Here's some of my True Temper hatchets that I have. And this is a little Woodsman 
hatchet. It's got the little little flimsy case, little thin leather case on there. And this thing has just been laying around forever. It needs to be restored. You can see it's getting rusted. That'll be a project. Right there, just cleaning that up. Now here's an old True Temper rocket hatchet. Look at the handle, man. I love how that hatchet had the curved handle and they put that rocket emblem in there. Oh man, that's just gorgeous. And it fits in your hand so good. Now here. All right, so this is the same hatchet, only in much better condition. You see this handle was perfect. The sticker still on there, True Temper, finest quality. It's got a great case on it. Look at there, man. And even still got the emblem on it there, True Temper Jet Rocket. And up here it's stamped, Jet Rocket. And this, so this one has BBA stamped in it. Maybe some of you in your comments can tell me what that means. What did BBA stand for? Because I'm not sure. True Temper Rocket. Boy, isn't that gorgeous? Mm. All right, here's an old True Temper folding saw. You don't see these often. But this has Made in Sweden right on it. So obviously, True Temper outsourced the blade or something, I guess. So it's a Made in Sweden blade. It's got the sticker and the stamp on it up here. It's an FS10. So if any of you have any information on this saw, I'd appreciate it. Leave it in the comments. If you've ever had one or you know anything about it, but it's just a little made in Sweden, True Temper FS10. And it's got the sticker, finest quality. Great little saw. All right, and I think some of you will remember this baby. We did a whole video on getting this ax head for Mr. Dennis Helton and bringing it home. And we did a whole video on restoring it, sharpened it back up a little bit and put a brand new handle in it, put linseed oil on it and Beautiful, beautiful double bit axe. And here's my other single bit axe. And I'm gonna do a video on putting a handle on this one sometime in the future. I just didn't wanna do it too soon after just doing one on a double bit. All right, so this one here is a True Temper Kelly Works. So let me get it a little closer so you can read that. There it is, you see that? True Temper Flint Edge Kelly Works. That's the one you want, guys, right there. All right, now this is some of my favorite, favorite tools right here because I like to do trail maintenance and we're out on the foothills trail a lot. And so this is my True Temper, world's finest Kelly Works Pulaski. And man, I love this thing. It's an old, it's an old um, Forest Service Pulaski and I stamped my name in it right there that way it would never get confused with somebody else's not that you would ever confuse this with somebody else's but I wanted to make sure all right there you go you can see that right on there good true temper world's finest Kelly works and this is a fine Pulaski love this thing now this is my latest acquisition is this old rusty, old rusty Pulaski. And if you notice that it has a, the hoe part has a different shape to it than the other one in the Kelly Works. But the reason I bought this old rusty thing, I mean, it's really so pitted that I don't really even question why I bought it. But what got my attention was it has true temper Whalen Veil vale stamped into it. And from what I've been able to read and find out was that Whalen Bell was its own axe and company at some point. And True Temper many, many years ago bought them out. And for a while continued to stamp that name in it, Whalen Bell. So if any of you guys have any information about Whalen Bell, True Temper products, or even before True Temper bought them out, leave it in the comments. I'd love to hear about it. All right, there you go. It's a little hard to see, but I've got it close. True Temper Whalen Veil. Vale. Now, this Pulaski here, we're going to do a video on restoring it or the best we can and putting a new handle in it. 
but this ain't going to be, I'm not going to take this out on the trail. I'm going to clean it up. It's so pitted and beat up, but I'm going to clean it best I can, put a new handle in it, do all that, but it's just going to be hung up out here. It's going to be garage art, you know. I'm just going to hang it up and be proud of it. Add it to the collection, so to speak. I want to just take a minute and give a few shout outs to some folks who've been commenting on my videos. Uh, Pat W999, he left a great comment about the review of the Smithy and I have been watching a lot of my videos about that thing and he really appreciated the, the video and uh, he felt like it was an honest review. Uh, Wills might know, my sweet wife who supports me through everything, uh, always backs me up and leaves great comments. Thank you, baby, I really appreciate it. Ray Falcone, he left a great comment about the little underbucking tool video. Mr. George White, he left a great comment also about the Smithy Review video that we did. Uh, JSJC458, he also commented on the review video of the Smithy. JR's Emporium, he left an awesome comment also about the Smithy. In fact, he commented several times and uh, gave me some good advice, and so did JSJC458, both of them. Uh, left me a lot of good comments on that video talking to me about the tailstock and the Morse taper and the tank. So that was great. I really appreciate that. Uh, the right sound, he left a good comment on mounting the Smithy to the workbench video. And Mr., let's see if I can pronounce this right, it's Denoxed12. I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing that wrong. Uh, he left two comments, one on the trail video where I went out and I cut the... Uh, the big dead hemlock off the trail. Me and my buddy went out there with the husky in the backpack. He left a comment about don't fall down with that pack on, you might not be able to get up. And he also left a great comment on part five, for the final part where we restored and rebuilt the uh, steel 028 trail boss. All right, then Lorenzo P, he left a great comment about uh, the Smithy workbench. I've got a lot of good comments on that video. People were uh, saying they want to build one and put their machine on it. And my good friend Gary Bryce, co-worker of mine, he left a, a good comment about the Rusty Grape Grill video. So guys, I really appreciate it. Keep the comments coming, and I promise I'll mention every one of you in the upcoming videos. Thanks so much for hanging out with me and checking out some of my old True Temper tools and just spending a little time out in the garage today. I'll see you next time in my next video.